Hello students, in this video we shall go over the important formulas of mensuration. In the textbook it is given as perimeter and area which means the same as mensuration. Perimeter as you know is the distance around a closed figure. Area is the part of plane occupied by the closed figure. So if this is a square, this length, the boundary is the perimeter. And if you shade the square, then this space occupied is the area. Perimeter of a square is equal to 4 into side. S represents side, so 4 into side. Area of a square is equal to side into side. Side into side. Perimeter of a rectangle is equal to 2 into L plus B. L is the length of the rectangle and B is the breadth of the rectangle. Area of a rectangle is equal to L into B. That is length times breadth. Area of a triangle is equal to half into base into height which is written in short 1 by 2 into B into H. Here B is the base and H is the perpendicular from the opposite vertex to the base. Area of a parallelogram is equal to base into height. This is the base B and height is again the perpendicular from the opposite vertex to the corresponding base. The distance around a circular region is known as its circumference. In a circle, we do not use the word perimeter for the boundary, we use the word circumference. So the distance around a circular region is known as its circumference. Circumference of a circle is equal to 2 pi r or pi d. You may use any of these two formulas. Here r is the radius. This is the radius, the distance from the center to any point on the circumference on the circle and d is the diameter. So if r is given to find the circumference use this formula 2 pi r. If d is given then use this formula pi d. Now the value of pi that we usually use is 22 by 7 or 3.14. Area of a circle is equal to pi r square. Again, the value of pi is 22 by 7 or 3.14 and r is the radius. Perimeter of a semicircle is equal to 1 half into 2 pi r plus d. So we want to find the perimeter of this. So that is half of the circle. So this half of 2 pi r that is 2 pi r and this diameter. So it's half into 2 pi r plus d or you can also write it as pi r plus d because 2 and 2 would cancel out each other. You need to know some conversions of units of areas. 1 squared centimeter is equal to 100 squared millimeter and how do you get this? 1 squared centimeter means 1 centimeter into 1 centimeter. And we know that 1 centimeter is equal to 10 millimeter. So 10 millimeter into 10 millimeter, 10 into 10 is 100 and that equals to 100 squared millimeter. So 1 squared centimeter equals to 100 squared millimeter. 1 squared meter is equal to 10,000 square centimeter. You can derive this the same way. 1 squared meter is 1 meter into 1 meter and then you can convert it into centimeter and you can get this answer. 1 hectare, this is hectare, H-E-C-T-A-R-E, -E, that is also a unit of area, is equal to 10,000 square meter. So these are the formulas that you need to know to solve the problems of perimeter and area. Thank you.